So you guys said, disconnect the throttle position sensor, run it wide open, see what happens. So that's what we're doing. Back at the Mazda Speed with your guys' suggestion. Okay, so here's the throttle linkage. Turns the dial. The sensor is right across from it, right here. There's a mess of wires in there, but we're gonna unplug that. Take a look at it, see if it's corroded. Now it should run wide open. Now we really will give this thing a speed test. All right, here we go. The floor. I don't know about that. So there's no hesitation in the car. Um, it definitely, like, throttle response is good, but it doesn't feel like the turbo's kicking in any leg. It's not that I didn't feel the turbo at all, it just felt like really low amounts of turbo, I guess, if that makes sense. I feel like the kick on it has been higher in the past. So I don't know if it's not building boost or properly delivering the boost. Yeah. I'm gonna make this thing faster than it is now. This is the other thing. I'm not really sure how fast it should be. I just expect it to be faster than it is. Like maybe it's working totally fine and normal. And it's just slow? No, it should be faster than this. We'll get to the bottom of this. Maybe that's gonna be a bigger turbo. I don't know, we'll see. So I took the heat shield off. <laughs> I had a suspicion that this fourth bolt might be loose. And look at that, it is definitely very loose. And there's some, you can see some black on the engine here. So definitely some exhaust pressure coming out there. I'm gonna see if I can tighten that up. Kind of disappointed that it's loose. I know I was in there, I changed that O2 sensor, that rear O2 sensor, and it was, it was a little bit loose at that point. I don't want to put like red locker on there and then like just never be able to take off my exhaust manifold ever again. But at the same time, I have to pull out a ton of stuff to get to that bolt every like 5,000 kilometers. That seems like a bad, that doesn't seem like a good solution either. So anyway, I know you guys, some people have suggested studs. If you got a, a suggestion for type of stud to go in there to replace that or a solution, put it down in the comments. I've been looking through everything um, I do have the O2 signal sensor coming from flying Miata, which I'm going to try to address some of the ECU stuff. I think a mega squirt is probably in the future, especially because I'd like to do sort of a custom intake at some point and, and uh, maybe something with a downpipe in the exhaust. So we'll see. Oh yeah, I'm going to fix it. I was going to say this is the end of the video, but it's not. I'm going to fix that and then uh, we'll take the car out and see if it moves better. Well, the plan was just to like tighten this. But, uh, yeah, it's about as smooth as a baby's bottom. We got a double nut on there. Fire! Ha ha ha! So I'm just gonna warm this up. Got our wrench on there. Oh, there it goes. So there's a little closer look at the setup I had. So there's the stud that goes... <laughs> you wanna be on this video? Oh, okay. All right, so just for a comparison, uh, this is the old one, it's the new one. So this is the part number if you're gonna get it right from Mazda. You guys can take a screenshot of that. I am not gonna type that out. Um, and then the metric size for the nuts is an M10 1.25. I'm hoping the double nut system holds it in place. And I'm also hoping that my exhaust manifold gasket is not blown or that the manifold itself is warped. Um, so this is sort of the first fix. <laughs> I do, th we'll see if there's any boost leaks after this. Okay, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so you don't have to torque them tight. They're only 18 foot pounds, but I am gonna torque the exhaust manifold stud because I got a torque wrench and that's what it's for. But 18 is not much. If it's, <laughs> it's pretty much, if you can get your, your wrench or your spanner on there and like, Get it tight with your hand. That's pretty much good. Oh, it doesn't even go down that low. Oh no. 
it only goes to to 50 foot pounds well that's not really useful all right so that's on there i'll tighten down um i'm gonna use the double nut system to uh, stop this one from backing off and uh we're gonna make power and it's gonna be so good maybe but probably now i got the heat shield back on and that bolt in there because i know this is a spot that maybe come loose and i taking the heat shield off is like the worst thing in the world. I cut this corner out of it so that I can just throw a wrench on there and tighten it up easily in the future. So we're gonna take it for a test drive. We're gonna see if it has amazing levels of boost now. Um, we'll, uh, we'll give her the beans and we'll see how it does. I'm expecting it to be quite a bit better. We'll see if we still have the boost creep issues. I think we still may. Um, I don't know if that'll be in this video or the next one, but I have the piece here from Flying Miata to trick this sensor so we can put that in. We'll see, we're gonna get this thing running pretty, pretty good and sneak peek of what's to come. We got some new fat wheels. No one cares, you got new wheels, whoop de doo um, But they should have a lot more traction because they are 225s. Yay! No lights on the dash. All is well. All right, let's go for a rip. This is potentially the first time I've ever driven this car with um, full boost. Oh. oh, once it's, oh yeah, it just goes, oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I can say, I can say the turbo is working. Oh, I can say the turbo's working. All right, so it's running better than it was before. I'm pretty sure we've fixed that exhaust leak. I'm not hearing the same sort of <laughs> noise that was coming from the engine bay, which is excellent. That is gonna go a long way in trying to get more power out of this thing. It's still, so last night when uh, we took it in the run, it was uh, performing better, but it was still sort of hesitating after it got warm and sort of having boost issues, if you will. So we're gonna be solving that in the next video. We're gonna be installing the Flying Miata O2 sensor modifier thing. So go check that out if you are having boost, uh, boost problems with your cars. Hope you guys enjoy this. Thanks for liking and subscribing and to all my other Mazda Speed community guys out there. You guys are awesome. See you later. Did you know you can get Octane Monkey gear at octanemonkey.com? That's right, we got shirts, hats, stickers, even car parts. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Oh.